Hi, my name's John. This is Lou. Today we're going to go through some dynamic stretches so we can stretch the whole body of a person who's going to play for some football. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go doing some ladder work. We're going to use the hurdles and um, change of direction of activities with involving a stimulus at the end also. First off, we're going to do some lunges, forward lunges in a dynamic way. So he's moving while he's doing the lunges. Off you go, Louie. Why are you doing these? It's important that you keep the torso upright and also have your hands on your hips when you're doing this. And it's important that you keep moving at all times. These can also be done do it at an increased pace, so you can do it quicker. This increases the intensity and also means that the muscles are having a more thorough workout. What we're going to do now is we're going to do some more lunges, but we're going to do them sideways, so it's going in the sagittal plane. Okay, off you go, Louis. You can increase the intensity of this exercise by speeding it up and also making sure the making the lunges go deeper and further, so the athlete goes further down the lunge. What Louis is going to do when he gets to the end is he's going to do it back, but we're using leading with. So now Louis is doing it with right hand legs exactly the same as he was doing before, but he's just doing it to the other leg to make sure that all of the legs are having a good and thorough. Well, right, what we're going to do now is similar to going up onto balls of your feet, but when he goes up. He's going to lift his knee really high and with the opposite arm, he's going to raise up in the air. This stretches out the arms and manoeuvres them for a, as if the a player was going up for a header and also gets the knees nice and high, which can help with jumping in football. So if you go, Louis. You can increase the intensity of this by doing it quicker and also get... What we're going to do now is just show you one that's similar to the side step, but it's placing the, the feet... One behind the other as he's going along. Lou will now demonstrate. As you, off you go. What this does is it make, keeps the body and twists it so that the hips and the legs are getting twisted as they would in a game of football and stretches all of them out and makes sure that the body's prepared for exercise. What we're going to do is we're going to use some ladders to do some ladder work. And in this one, we're going to do one step in each, so it's the one step. And what, this, what we're going to do is he's going to keep his on the balls of his feet which will mean that he, to keep this, the length of time he's in contact with the floor nice and short, get his knees high and use his arms. So off you go, Louis. Now what we're going to do is similar to the one where there's one step in each of the segments, we're going to put two feet in, this, in each of the segments. This increases the intensity and also makes the muscles and the legs work harder to keep a nice short contact time with the floor. Off you go, Louis. Now we're going to do exactly the same as we did with the one step, we're going to put, had, add a sprint onto the end to it. This is increasing the intensity even more as there's a sprint at the end of the two steps in each of the ladder segments. Off you go Louis. What we're going to do now is he's going to put two feet in each of them, right left and then step out right left, in again right left into all the different segments on the way down. Louis, can you It's important, this is important as it quickens the feet up in moving in a lateral direction as is important in football. What we can do now is we can also come back the other way with the left foot first which means that you're working both sides of the body equally as well. Off you go Louis. As you can see it's quite difficult to do it first but over time the athlete will be able to do it better and it's important to do this numerous times within the training session. First we're using some um, hurdles to use in, induce some plyometric work. This is to induce a stretch shortening cycle and this will over time enable the athlete to jump higher and also manoeuvre quickly out of situations. So what he's going to do is keep his feet together, jumping over the hurdles on the balls of his feet, keeping the contact time with the floor down to a minimum. Off you go Louis. For this one what we're going to do is this is where we add in a stimulus. Louis is going to jump over exactly as he did before Ball, on the balls of his feet, keeping his feet together and knees and everything all together. But when he gets to the end, with it over the last hurdle, I'll shout out stimulus, and he's either going to have to jump left. Here you go, Louis. Left. What we're going to do now is just the same thing, but going sideways. This increases the lateral movement and the ability, and it enables the footballer to move, jump sideways as well to evade tackles and other situations and improve their agility. Off you go, Louis. Same things apply, balls of your feet and using the arms to propel yourself over.